Mr. Humble Hippie here. We're uh, in a very deep green zone thicket, basically in the woods. And um, I just. I'm trying to forage. And I've come across this here. What you might immediately presume to be blackberries as I am a deep down this side of a ravine. By the way, be warned, head first, you never know. What you can't see right below you could be 20, 30 feet deep. And what looks to be a nice natural little area be the last, you know, you get lost down in these places and um, fall trip and get stuck, slide down hills. This is a really far down side of a mountain, even though it looks nice and beautiful. No idea that these trees are actually 30 or 100 feet tall and they're just growing sideways. So, back to uh, these here um, fruits. You know, all plants survive and the way they survive is they put off attractive flowers and things for people or uh, animals or any life forms to be attracted to and so simple as that for me I just simply see these bright green backgrounds and these bright red berries in the middle of the bright green and I think hey there's something worth checking out it's the same with these orange fruits here if anybody has any idea what I'm looking at, please let me know. Now you know what I can tell you is there is there is no green fruit. Now, you know, I've heard of a product called the Golden Raspberry. And I wonder if I have not just found the Golden Raspberry. These pistols on these See how, can you see those? See how big those are? Those are huge. These are raspberries. These are golden raspberries. I've just foraged golden raspberries, y'all. Really need to stop taking food from our local food stores. You know, that's stealing. Go out and forage. Go out and buy some fruit and then take the seeds from it and grow that. And one day this will be your yard. Forgotten about. And somewhere deep in the thicket, somebody will find the golden raspberry.